Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. Today I have the February Hedgehog Hollow Kit to share with you. This one comes with some really great stamps. Look at this. Take time to smell the flowers. Welcome spring. Friends are flowers in the garden of life. Let joy burst forth like flowers in the spring. How does your garden grow? Hello sunshine. All just really great sentiments. And then you get this really large stamp set. This comes with all the elements you need to build some flowers. There is a center and all these different designs for your flower petals, as well as a stem and leaf. And then this stencil is matching for it. So you can stencil on those elements as well as use the stamp set. It also comes with a really great paper pack and I fell in love with this paper pack. I'm gonna show you all the pages that, that comes in here. It is front and back printed. I'm gonna show you the back side in just a minute, but this comes with these little spring bugs. They're so cute in pinks. And then here's one with leaves on it. This one is a gardening paper and here's some flowers, more little flying critters. They look a little bit like bees, pink bees maybe. And then on the other side, you get some stripes in pink and black. And then there's polka dots in pink and black, green and white polka dots, green and white stripes, some really pretty gardening tools, flower pot with leaves and flowers. And all of those come in this kit. I love them. You get three different colors of glitter as well. This one is the Eclipse Black. Here is a blue one. I realize it's too small for you to read the labels there. You also get this English mustard, which is really kind of a gold glitter. So those three glitters come in and also this kaleidoscope powder. And it's a very bright neon orange, really, really fun. This is gonna be fun for some techniques. Now you may get different colors in your kit, so just wanted to point that out. I'm not sure if these come in every single kit the same colors, so that is my disclaimer. I'm gonna start by making a card and I'm gonna make one with starting with this stencil, just inking on the center with some neon lights ink. Then I'm going in with some bubblegum ink and then I'm gonna darken up those petals with tip tree jam. Now I accidentally got some tip tree jam ink off the edge of that stencil. I wasn't very careful. I'm gonna be more careful now, but I will show you how to fix that in this video so stay tuned for that because there is a simple fix don't worry don't throw this panel out don't start over either i love that there's always a fix for paper crafting almost always i never give up on a card until it's until i do but which is rare so this is going to be fun to fix i use the welsh dragon and now I am going to cover up one of those petals with some mint tape as a mask. I'm just doing this very simply because I want to build another flower next to this pink flower and I'm going to build a yellow flower. So I'm going to use flat white, which is kind of a light brown and it's my favorite brown ink right now. Isn't that funny to have a favorite brown ink? But it is. And now I'm going to add some petals in this English mustard, which is a very bright, vibrant yellow. And I'll just go ahead and do that using mint tape when I need to, to mask off any of those other petals over there. So this is really simple and fast building this card. And isn't it so happy and spring-like? I, I feel like smiling when I see this card and wait till you see it done. It's really quite fun. So I ended up masking a couple of those uh, other petals and now I'm gonna mask off these yellow petals to add that stem because I want the stem to look like it is behind the petals. I apologize for my voice. I am losing it again. My voice that is. <laughs> and so I sound a little bit scratchy, but I think I can get through this video. I asked my husband if he wanted to do the voiceover for me and he said no. <laughs> So we're gonna get through this, but here's how I'm fixing that mistake with the pink ink. I'm taking my sand eraser and just erasing it off. Now you'll see it erased off the blue ink too, but that's okay, because now we can go back in with the neon lights over that section 
and it's just like it never happened. Look at that. So great. So no worries. Now I'm going to stamp the centers of the flowers with the stamp set and I'm using the design that has little circles all throughout. It's kind of small to be able to see that in this video, but they're little circle designs and they're so fun to add texture to the stencil so easily. I'm gonna also use one of those petals that also has some polka dots on it. I'm gonna stamp those in the same color ink that we inked on petals. So I'm just gonna do it for the pink flower. So the pink flower is gonna have the texture. The yellow flower will have the texture in the center of the flower. And there is the panel, so cute. So for the papers, I decided to go with the pink and black stripes. And then I found the paper that has these cute little flying bees, and I'm gonna cut one of those out. And the reason I wanted to do this was, I'm gonna hide another error that I made on this panel you can't really see it here, but it's on the yellow flower petal. I kind of messed up a little bit on the inking right there. That's where I'm gonna put the bee. <laughs> You're never even gonna know. And then the sentiment I chose was, friends are flowers in the garden of life. And I think that's true. Such a great sentiment. I'm just gonna stamp that on with some black ink. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together popping that little B up with some foam tape and then adding this panel to the pink and black stripes panel. So just using my favorite liquid adhesive right now to add that to the card. And then we'll add this whole thing to a top folding 110 pound card base. And that will be our card for today. I'm gonna add just a few gems. These are some of the neon yellow gems that I have from Maker Forte. They look so pretty with this spring flower card. So I added a few here and there, and there you go. That's it. Such an easy, simple card. Look, hopefully you can see some of that detail in the center and on those pink petals. So pretty, really fun to play with. Uh, this set, I hope you enjoyed this video today, giving you a sneak peek at that kit. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. I'll be back real soon with more card making inspiration. I appreciate you and your comments and I appreciate you coming back time and time again. Thanks for stopping by today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.